Hey everyone, welcome to another Artsy Weekly Vlog. I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. Today, it's supposed to be like 82. And then tomorrow, like 85. But then after that, an entire week of 50 degrees. <laughs> Whatever, I don't care as long as it doesn't snow ever again. I am working on a bunch of stuff. I feel like I'm in a good groove right now where I'm kind of like multitasking and I'm I'm working on multiple things at once. And we're doing the, I can't remember if I showed you this. I thought I did. And then, I don't know. Anyway, I'm working on the resin slime art piece. Uh, it's going to be incredible. I mean, I feel like it's going to be pretty awesome. And then I'm also photographing the rugs, the like soot sprite rugs. Do you hear that? <laughs> it's birds. Yeah, anyway, I'm uh, photographing the Sit Sprite rugs outside, and I'm letting them kind of like sit in the sun so that they get warm because they're supposed to change color when it's warm. Or uh, the stars. Remember the little stars that we did uh, with color changing yarn? So I'm kind of just like letting them warm up in the sun. But yeah, I'm still preparing just like last week starts st 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 start selling some art and i also put up my smaller um tufting framing so that i can work on like another rug to like then list and sell I'm trying to think of updates i'm using my calendar y'all <laughs> i know that's like the lamest update but like i'm filling it out and crossing days off and checking things off i'm a whole new person once spring rolls around i'm a whole new human being, a functioning member of society. Also, I wanted to say last week's vlog kind of popped off a little bit, like for as far as like my vlog channel numbers did pretty well. And I, I feel like we have quite a few new subscribers here. So if you're new, hi, uh, thank you so much for being here. This is, this is where I just live my life. I appreciate you being here. I'm so excited that you wanted to subscribe to my vlog channel where I just kind of live my life. It's cool. Like we have, I think we have 4,260 subscribers, right? Every single one of you. I love you all to absolute death. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, I, I'm kind of, I'm honestly just like waiting for my rugs to like warm up and change color. Um, I have to do the first layer on that resin thing. I was going to start a new rug, make paper. Oh, I actually have to finish the post for my pants that we stamped. I think I showed you guys them last week, but that, that, uh, linoleum block printing video is going out today because your girl edited an entire video start to finish in one day yesterday. I was like, I'm going to do it. I, I'm going to edit this video all in one sitting because I, I think, I don't know how to describe it properly, but I think that I, I am taking everything way too seriously. It makes sense because this is like how I make a living. So it is a serious thing for me. But I think I'm literally like sitting there editing and being like, oh, this has to be the most viral video. I have to put out my entire life and soul and blood into this video. And I still feel that way. I still want to put my my all into every video. But I, I don't think I need to like cut off a limb for every video and like, you know, devote days and days for a video, you know, because it just wasn't working. It's just not something that's working. So I'm trying to like kind of analyze things and look at like, okay, so this system is killing me. This system is not working. Let's try something else. So, and you know, what's crazy is this linoleum block printing video, which as, as you're watching this vlog right now, you can go watch the, 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 linole, the, the, the linoleum block printing video right now. Um, I'm, a, I'm obsessed with it. I think it's hilarious. I think that it's me, like there's nothing missing from it. Even though I, I edited it all in one day, Whereas normally I have to edit a video like over the course of minimum three days, not like consecutive, like all day I'm editing the video, but a good chunk of a day I will have to edit a video anyway. So editing this video all in one day, there was nothing missing from it. It was hilarious. It's so good. It's so fun. And just, I, I'm absolutely obsessed with this linoleum block printing video. It's so great. And honestly, like I've been getting, I mean, I, I've gotten these comments since the dawn of 
you know, making YouTube videos. But these comments of you guys saying that I, that my videos, um, have made you happy or like made your day or, you know, like you had a long stressful day and then you got to watch my video or something and it made you, it made you feel better. It made you happy or it inspired you. Like that is the name of the game for me. And I just, I, I don't know. I feel like this is one of those videos that will hopefully inspire you to spice up your clothing, spark a little joy in your closet. I don't know. It's just like clothing is like really <laughs> hard to explain. I feel like it's kind of a weird thing to explain maybe, but I love clothing and not for like the materialistic reasons you might think of when you hear that. Like I love clothing. I love clothes. Um, it's not a materialistic thing. Like I don't really care about brands or like how expensive something is or whatever. Like I thrift, it doesn't matter to me. What I do care about is feeling good in an outfit. And I put a lot of effort into that because I hated my body for so long and I never wanted to wear anything. Well, rather there were things I wanted to wear, but I never thought I could because I am plus size. And, you know, I would put on like a crop top or something and be like, I'm fat. Like, I can't wear that. That looks so ugly. I'm not supposed to wear crop tops because, you know, like I'm plus size and the, which is complete bullshit. I struggle with it, obviously, sometimes. Like, I'm not just automatically, you know, fixed or whatever. Fixed. That's not the right word. But you, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Just now that I have changed my mindset and I, I am working on like my self-talk. <laughs> I think I touched on that a little bit last week. Working on your self-talk changes how you actually feel. So even if in the moment, I thought I heard something. So even if like you, you think that like, oh, I look, I look terrible in this. Working on your self-talk actually changes how you, <laughs> how you view things. And I, I'm sure some of you are going to be like, yeah. <laughs> but for me, that was like a kind of game changing thing. I don't know. Like I, I wear crop tops and I wear, I wear the things I want to wear and I look great in them and I, I just fucking love it. And so customizing clothing and like altering like thrifted clothing and just sewing that dress and all this like clothing stuff really boils down to like, you know, my self love journey, loving my body kind of stuff. And so I don't know, whenever I do these like um, clothing videos, they they mean the most to me or they mean a lot to me, uh, because of those things. And like, I, I want to show other people, like, I don't know that this is my body and I look great in this crop top and these jeans that I stamped with my own hand carved stamps. Anyway, let's go check on the rug outside. I can't tell if it's changing. I'm like blinded. Hey vlog, it's the next day and today we're working on, so yesterday was like, I can't remember if I told you, but yesterday was like 80, it said 86. When I looked at it like the day before, it said it was going to be a high of like 82. It got hot yesterday. Uh, today is not that different. It's supposed to be like 84 and our room was not prepared for that. Like we don't have the air conditioner in there and so we had to open the, like our, we have a door to like a porch. And which is fine. I'm just like, I'm, I'm hot all the time. I'm hot throughout the winter. I sweat no matter what. So I need, I need an air conditioner. And so we're working on, I don't remember if you, I don't know if you remember last year, we, we had like an air conditioner that could go out. Like it had like a tube that goes out the window, which by the way, part of the issue with having an air conditioner in our room is that we have like crank windows. We don't have like normal lift up kind of windows. Um, so we have to get one of those, I forget what they're called. They're just like an air conditioner that sits on the floor and then there's a tube that goes outside. So we have one of those, but last year we just taped it to the window and it was one, it was really ugly, and two, I was constantly afraid that, like, bugs were going to get in or, like, an animal or something. I don't know. So, yeah, we, Sean's working on, like, taking a piece of wood and sort of, like, making it the right shape to fit into the window. And then we're going to cut a circle out so that the tube will fit. And then it won't look so ugly and it'll be, like nice and sealed, which we should probably go to Lowe's once we have it made and go get like that air conditioner 
sealing like foam that you can put around the edges. So that's happening. This is still curing, although um, a fly landed in it. So I had to pick that out, which is really fun. I'm working on another rug. For some reason, Sean is like, is the resin slime thing like for your tufted slime thing? I was like, no, I'm just into slime right now. <laughs> I just, I like the shape of slime. And for some reason, I'm kind of good at drawing slime. So yeah, I'm doing a, it's supposed to be like um, a doorway rug, but it's going to be slime. How cool is that? Uh, so I think that's going to look really cool. I think I'm going to do pink. I'm not totally sure. I'm just trying to go off of the yarn that I do have so I don't have to buy yarn. That's the stuff. I think I want to, we, want, we were talking about possibly digging up the lilies today and seeing what that's like. And like, I want to get, cause the garden has, here, I'll show you. But like the garden has all these just like really old pieces of wood. And then these are the stairs that we want to completely redo. And then on the other side, it's just like this stuff, like all this wood that has like old screws in it and stuff. And then there's just, there's just random, like, you know, when we moved in last year, we didn't have time to, like, you know, do something with this. So I would like to completely redo. So it's like a triangle of garden and basically another triangle of garden there. So I want to, I want to get that out and then just to kind of start redoing the garden space. I did get this. I ordered like a, um, bag of I don't know like garden tools pretty pretty awesome we also got a metal shovel pretty exciting stuff new glasses guy oh yeah oh yeah nice this is good is that where you normally have your glasses like right up against your sort of maybe maybe not maybe that's why they feel more zoomed in this feels further than normal mm. I really like them yeah Yep. Hey vlog, it's some time later and uh, we made the piece of wood that's going to go in the window. Basically just like cut it out of some plywood and then cut a circle out and then Sean brought the giant air conditioner up. What, do you have bad news? No. Oh, and now we're trying to open this window and last year it was in this window and... Just the way that we have the room set up now with the couch turned this way, it just, there's not enough room for like the cedar chest because we also, since the pipe is not that long to go from the air conditioner to the window, and the windows are up so high that we need to put the air conditioner up on this cedar chest. We just don't have room for the cedar chest over there. So we're trying to open this window. And like I said, these are like crank windows and they're just they're weird and it seems like it feels like it's either like sealed shut or just and it is hot up here we got it open i think it was just when they painted the house or painted something or maybe they like redid the finish on this wood whatever um it dried and then it like sealed the window shut so we were able to get it open and this is our piece of wood hey look at that it's pretty good so just in case any of you have this a weird issue of like I need an air conditioner in crank windows. I'm just gonna show I'm just gonna show what we're doing. So that piece of wood and then the window open obviously and then we got this which is rubber window seal and so we're gonna seal the edges of the wood with this and then I also have silicone caulk to go around the pipe that's gonna go through this hole and that should be good right? I feel like that'll be, because this has adhesive on one side, so it should stick um, to like the framing of the window and then hold the piece of wood that we have there. Uh, but then we also got this, which is more like insulation tape, like double-sided. Okay, here's what it is looking like. Sean had to recut the piece of wood twice. He did end up having to tape the hose into the connector piece but you know what if if y'all were here last year do you remember what the other window looked like because it was all just like black tape it stuck to the window and the hose and it just looked so bad that this looks incredible <laughs> not bad 
Wow. Oh my. It's working. It's working. <laughs> wow. So we are going to put like some caulk around this, but yeah, it looks pretty good, I feel like. So we have the window steel, like rubber stuff all along the edge and the wood like sits in it. Hey vlog, we're at Lowe's. We're picking out flowers for the garden. Just, just starting out. I don't know. I'm a little like nervous about it because they basically like Tommy and Ricky and everybody in the house were like, you guys just go for it. Yeah. And I, I'm not like a designer. I just, I just like picking out flowers. So I'm just picking things out. Can you hand me one that I have? Look at these. They're just like whimsical little balls of cute. Uh, it's a, is it a sandwort? Wait, what is it? What is it called? Dreamaria Daydream Sandwort. Is that what it says? For yeah. real? Okay. Okay. Um, there's like a lavender one and then that pink one. I'm probably gonna have to get more. But to start, I'm gonna just get those and like see how, I feel like no one's gonna care. I just, I, I care about making sure that everyone feels involved in the decision making of the garden. You know? Yeah. Um, and now we're looking at tulips. I don't know what color to do. Actually, do these even say what color they are? Yeah, those are red, I think. It says red? Okay. I don't want red. No, thank you. Red, yellow, pink, purple. What else we got? Purple, purple. Hyacinths. That'd be neat. That would be cool. I love hyacinths. Oh, wow. Look at the purple ones. Yeah. Ooh, they're beautiful. We could do some hyacinths, right? Look at their, like, cool pods. I'm gonna grab the, um... The one thing? Yeah. And maybe, like, a purple one. Hey, vlog. It's been, like, two or three days. I'm not quite sure. Yesterday, I was down for the count. <laughs> I had a pretty bad headache. It lingered into today, but we're doing fine now. It's on its way out. Uh, and I've just been, I've been working on my slime projects. This one and then that one. Got some significant progress on this rug. Um, I've, I've kind of just been like working and doing stuff. Check out my calendar. Look at all that. That is pretty great. I feel like my key, the key for me was to not like try to plan ahead. And like try to fill in because on Sundays I was like trying to fill in throughout the week like when should I do things and try to map things out like that and even like do time blocks um, and sort of like plan out an entire week that wasn't working because things always changed and I was I was just getting frustrated with it and then I stopped filling it in. So what I do now is I will come down because I usually come out every day and I'll think about all the things that I want to get done on this day and I write them on the on the calendar and I check them off as I go. I'm the kind of person that I get encouraged by seeing how much I've done. So I like to I like to be able to check things off. I like to be able to look over at the calendar and be like, "Dang. I did so much yesterday. I did so much last week. Like I can see how much I've done and it makes me feel makes me feel good." So yeah, I'm working on the slime. I got some strip lights that I'm going to glue all along the edge to bake, basically turn this into like a neon lights slime thing. Slime neon lights. It's, ugh. I'm so in love with this project. It is so cool. Um, but I do think I'm going to end this vlog here. Look out on the vlog channel for a whole video about transforming those outdoor stairs into like stone stairs and stuff. It's I'm gonna do it a whole separate video. It's gonna be it's gonna be cute and cool. Uh, so look out for that. I am gonna post it on the vlog channel. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and my art channel, <laughs> which is Artsy Madwoman. You can follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok and Tumblr, and literally everything. It is at Artsy Mad Woman. We got merch. This is what some of it looks like. If you're an Artsy member, make sure you check the community tab for the members only discount code on all the merch besides stickers, I think. Link for the merch is down in the description along with the link to becoming a member of the Artsy Mad Woman channel where we do 
all kinds of bonus videos, behind the scenes videos of some projects. Like I said, the members only discount code. So the link for that is down in the description. I love you guys to absolute death. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, wow.